Welcome to Dr. Amazon Podcast, the emergency support channel for FBA private label sellers. We invite top Amazon experts to share the most efficient tips and tricks for your businesses. We are trying to deliver only accurate, credible, and relevant information. My name is Vitaly Fizhniak and I am the CGO of Profit Wales. And let's get started. Hello and welcome to the new episode of Dr. Amazon Podcast. Today we have a special guest, Brandon Clark, who is an entrepreneur, a digital marketer, Amazon strategist, and the advisor who helps brands overcome their obstacles. Welcome, Brandon. Well, thank you. Uh, at this episode, it will be um, something different that we have previously, because today we will speak more about the mindset. Yeah, Having a strategy uh, for your Amazon business is important, uh, but your mindset is crucial for achieving success on your way. Because often the only thing standing on your way is you, and uh, especially when the journey uh, through the internship uh, always has its ups and downs yeah and uh, the right mindset can be one of the key elements to search your target so we'll be focusing on this topic today and thank you brandon for joining us today uh brandon let's start from the beginning yeah could you please tell us more like about you about uh what what was the way uh where you just reach the amazon spot and all this entrepreneur and e-commerce experience Yeah, so uh, thanks again for having me on here. Um, I've been involved with e-commerce and internet marketing for uh, going on 12 years now, so a little over a decade. I uh, started with uh, customer service and shipping stuff out and then got into SEO and was very big into SEO and um, you know ranking on Google and doing things with backlinks and stuff like that. And... Um, Back in 2011, 2012, we kept getting hit with the big Google updates, uh, Panda and Penguin, you might have heard of those before. Mm -hmm. And our business pretty much overnight just took hits, you know, where we were ranking really well in Google one night, the next morning we were nowhere to be found. And pretty much happened to every e-commerce business at that time. Um, so from there, it started looking into different ways where we can make some Uh, money in the same, you know, fashion that we were before uh, with e-commerce. And my brother-in-law came across an Amazon course. Um, mm -hmm. That was back in 2013 in the fall. And we hit the ground hard and heavy and started, you know, going all in with it. And started in supplements with one of the hottest products at the time, Garcinia Cambogia, um, and went full force into learning everything we could about Amazon, uh, how to grow, how to get to our sales, just going. And we got that product up to seven figures a year. And we started building out more, you know, supplement brands, pretty much selling a lot of the same stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And then started progressing into other niches um, and just kept the processes going. Um, and we ended up taking the, the business up to eight figures Um, and, you know, continued on with new businesses and, and more. And, you know, we've had a lot of different brands in Amazon um, and just continuing to still learn and grow as we go. So you have a, a really different experience in the case of the Amazon. So you just try a lot of things uh, mm -hmm. on the beginning. And uh, okay, so uh, let's take things off uh, and let's clarify uh, for those who listen to the episode. Um, What is for you uh, is mindset, yeah? Because uh, I believe everyone understands it differently. Yeah, so, you know, with me, with the mindset, Amazon's more of a fear-based, you know, a lot of people have a fear-based mindset. It's a scary thing. Um, the payout structure, everything is just totally different than anything else you're probably used to especially, you know, if you've had e-commerce businesses before, you know, where like Shopify, you get the money the next day or within a few days. For Amazon, it's weeks after, you know, you get the sale. And so the whole thing to me is there's a lot of fear wrapped up in that because you have to put up a lot of money up front. You know, for most people that are starting out, they don't have a lot of extra income to throw at it. 
you know, they're kind of building it slow and steady. And so to have that money just away, right. And you don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of fear associated with that. There's a lot of fear with, um, you know, you hear all the negative stories of people getting suspended or listings going down Mm -hmm. everywhere you turn, there's something fear based regarding the Amazon business. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's hope and there's excitement and there's a lot of other things that are positive with it. Mm-hmm. So to me, the biggest mindset shift that you could really get out of is getting away from the fear and looking at everything as an opportunity, looking at you know hope and that excitement with whatever you're doing. Because when you have that fear that's always pressing down on you, you know, you're not gonna sleep at night. If you're you know a good entrepreneur, you're probably always wondering and worrying mm-hmm. about something, if you did something right or didn't do something right. And so you really got to step away from that and look at, you know, what, what could happen, you know, focus on the future, focus on the plan. Uh, and I think that's one of the biggest shifts that you can have with it. So will be, uh, is, uh, the point, uh, if we will skip the fear, yeah. Uh, from like our mindset and start working will it help us to play a long-term game inside the Amazon? Because I think that it's like most effective when you start doing the e-commerce or selling on Amazon to think not in the short term, but be oriented on long-term. So if we will skip the fear, could it help us? Yeah, big time. It could, it could definitely help. And I teach everybody that I work with and anyone I talk to, uh, I talk about this, that it is a long-term game. You know, Amazon's not going away anytime soon. They're just going to get bigger. And if you play by their rules, you do the right things, you focus on the right things, you can be along the ride with them just, you know, however long they last. Um, And with that, you know, you're not going to find a better opportunity to get in front of potential buyers than Amazon. Mm -hmm. Right? There's no way you can get in front of that many qualified people with anything else for the same amount of money that, you know, you can get with Amazon. So with that, it, it's a massive long-term game. Uh, everybody wants the big fancy numbers right out the beginning, but you know, you got to put in the work, you got to have the patience and put in the time to get that. But if you do, everything else will start taking care of itself. You know, you're going to, your website and off of Amazon sales are going to mm-hmm. grow just because you're getting bigger on Amazon. You know, the more you do that, the more you build a community around your brand, you take care of your customers, little things like that, that brand is getting bigger and bigger. And then when you do focus on the long-term strategy of it, now you have all these assets at the end, you can turn around and sell or, you know, continue to grow um, depending on what your, you know, overall goals are. Yeah, we just spent a lot of time with uh, working with the different Amazon sellers with a different mindset, yeah? And uh, when you start working with a seven, eight figures, they think not on like the same way that when people just started, yeah, their businesses, because they yeah. understand and they, uh, for example, for right now, they do not think about the Q4, for example. They think about the 2021, uh, what we will see next, like what is our strategy, how, how many products we will launch or something like that. And uh, uh, regarding to that, uh, how your mindset impacts uh, Amazon profits and sales? Yeah. So, you know, like you said, those people have plans or looking ahead, you know, so they're already, like you said, looking at 2021. So they know what products they want to launch and what month they want to launch. So they're just going through and putting in the work and following the plan that they have in place. They're Mm -hmm. confident in their plan as well. You know, so they think positive. They think that all right, if I launch a product in January 2021, that yeah. product's going to do really well. Then I can launch another one in April, and then that mm-hmm. product's going to give me X amount of dollars. And so they're thinking positive. And therefore, when they follow their plan, they're performing positively too. They're having good results. You know, if you don't think positive and you're not sure if something's going to work or not work, and you start putting that doubt in your mind, and going back to the, having a fear-based mindset, 
All right. You th start thinking that something might not work, then it's probably not going to work. All right. If you start doubting what you're doing, the performance is going to fall in line with that doubt. Yeah. So if you think that you're doing the right things, you're following the plan that you set forth, or, you know, if you're working with somebody and they set the plan or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, as long as you're putting in the work every single day and thinking positively, thinking long term, right? That will have a massive impact on your profits and your sales. Everything will start becoming easier. You'll have more fun. Sales will just continue to rise. So you got to think positively, you know, when you're putting in the work as well. So could you, for example, uh, divide it on different stages? For example, on the beginning, the fear could motivate us to make some actions, yeah? To yeah. Uh, motivate us to start business on Amazon, to, to understand this platform, to play uh, these games uh, with the, like, uh, for Amazon rules or something like that, yeah? And after that, when we start doing that, we should start thinking positively. Yeah, in the case of th these products, in the case of our results, uh, start making a plans, yeah? Like the, for, for uh, start thinking on a few steps more uh, for okay. understanding how it will just move and understand, yeah? Uh, so uh, how like, uh, what is the next steps? Uh, and uh, is it this understanding, is it correct uh, on the beginning? Yeah, it is correct. And, and you hit it perfectly, right? You have the fear at the beginning, you know, you start the business, you have, you're putting in money or you put it on a credit card, however you spent, you have a fear of losing that money, you want to do well. But once you start getting your processes in place, you start learning what, what works for you, for your brand, for your type of products, right? Then you start getting that confidence built up. Yeah then you can continue to, you know, build out to your brand as you go. The more you do it, the more confidence you get, then you're going to feel unstoppable whenever you reach, you know, the seven, eight figures, whatever that massive goal is for you. Got it. Got it. So uh, how to set up the right goals? Yeah. So for me, I like to uh, reverse engineer everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Break everything down. So if you want to hit, you know, $120,000, just for easy math, a month, or I mean a year, right, you need to have 10,000 a month. And so you break it down into the months, but I like to break everything down in the power of three. All right. And then continue to break that down. So I like to work in 90 day chunks. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you can break it down with the quarters as well. Yeah, uh, exactly. but every month you have one, you know, um, sub goal of your overall goal. So if you're trying to get to, you know, $90,000 in three months where every month you need to hit $30,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you just keep breaking it down, you know, break it down into the weeks and then break it down into the days. And then it's just continuing to take action at that goal. Uh, there's a lot of different shiny objects, you know, with Amazon, there's always new tools new strategies, you know, if you follow and listen to a bunch of different people out there, they're all doing different things too. And so it's easy to get, you know, distracted or put a little bit of time into something else instead of focusing on your goal. But it's really just reverse engineering and breaking it down, like I said, into the power of three, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then just doing anything and everything to make that needle move towards the goal. So here is the point in the case of the power of daily routine that we have. I mean, that because uh, in routine we have as a dark times, as a shiny times, because uh, uh, the routine sometimes just destroy everything that you have because you start thinking that you do everything, yeah, according to this business. Uh, you spend a lot of time, you spend a lot of uh, money on uh, the marketing and stuff like that and do not get a feedback, yeah? And when you start living in this routine, yeah, how to work with it? So with me, I I'm never afraid to change up my routine, mm. right? And I always, I've had this, a lot of the same routine for the past couple of years. You know, with Amazon, I, I like to break things down into the days. So Mondays, it's all about marketing. Tuesdays, it's all about sponsored ads and PPC. You know, Wednesday might be about reviews or customer service. Mm -hmm. You know, each day has its own specific thing. But within that day, 
I can be doing a bunch of different things. I can have a totally different routine than I did the past week. All right. So I have those set days that allow me to make sure that I'm getting everything that the business needs. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I have a lot of flexibility in what that each day holds. Um, so I'm not afraid to, to change it up if something's not working, to cut stuff or put stuff, you know, at the bottom of the list until it makes sense. Um, and then with the routine, you got to put yourself first, too, because uh, that's one of the big things I've learned in the business. You know, if if you don't put yourself first, take care of yourself. Right. You're going to spend all your time on the business. Yeah. Right. Every you could do. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's important to, to build your routine around you and, you know, what you want in the day to day. But yeah, don't be afraid to, you know, change it up and get rid of stuff when it's not working. Yeah, that is fair enough. And that is exactly true. Because uh, we also could uh, feel the same, you know, when you start do something for your business, you could spend like 24-7 uh, next uh, three, six, five days. It's uh, for, for sure because uh, yep. you will every time find a new and new spots where you could uh, just put your energy yeah, just to be focused on. And uh, of course, you will see the feedbacks. But it's so important to feel yourself and understand that uh, every time you should also find the right time and spots for yourself for becoming better yeah for doing some yoga for example mm -hmm. uh on some great beach or something like that uh yeah i absolutely understand it that is really fair enough and um um let's speak more about difficulties yeah because uh every time we could face with them it's maybe not about the daily routine it's not about some weekly updates but still sometimes uh difficult happens and it doesn't matter where you're working on is it e-commerce business amazon doesn't matter everything could just change in one day like in a moment so uh how to go through uh all these difficulties yeah so i've had that you know everything changed in one minute you know i've I deal with daily chronic pain. I've had multiple back surgeries, um, in and out of doctors all the time. And that all happened just overnight. You know, mm -hmm. I was going about, we were growing our Amazon business. I was very healthy doing all kinds of things, right. And then one day the pain started and it didn't go away. So I went from being able to work, you know, 12, 16 hours a day. I could hustle all the time right? It did not phase me. I was a workaholic to the point where I could only work a couple hours a day, right? So overnight, I'm losing, you know, 10 times the amount of productivity that I used to have. And so that's a big, difficult challenge when you don't have the time, you don't have the energy to really be put in your business. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing you can do is really figure out what your goal is, um, and look at, you know, everything that can be on your to-do list from even responding to emails. And you got to figure out, all right, if I only have this amount of time each day to put into my business, what are the biggest rocks that I can focus on that's going to allow me to hit that goal quicker? Yeah. Right. It might not be something you see immediate action or a return on your investment, but you got to look at figure out what those big rocks are that are going to get you closer and closer every day because you don't have as much time, right? For example, so you have to think smarter and figure out, you know, what can get you ahead while your competition or anyone else is working a lot more, all right? Hopefully you're working smarter, making better choices and better decision to really get ahead. Yeah, I really like this idea in the case of working smarter and spend time exactly on the big rocks that you could move because uh, it will be much more effectively that you will just spend all of your time playing with the small rocks and uh, getting no feedback uh, for your business. Yeah, that is exactly true. And I really like this point. Um, could you please share like maybe the uh, top three insights, yeah, uh, regarding like the mindset for the Amazon sellers that could help them uh, to work on a such competitive market? Yeah, uh, the top three, you know, I have to go back to the first one, get out of the fear-based mindset, right? That's, I think, what holds a lot of people back in this business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would say 
everyone that I've talked to who has not made it in this business, 90 to 95% have the fear base that's holding them back, yeah. right? They're right on the edge of having a great product and a great brand, but they're too scared to take that next step, mm-hmm. right? So you got to get out of that whatever way you can, you know, listening to, uh, to people like Gary V or whatever, you know, whoever you need to have that positive energy of read books, right? Pay attention to who you follow on social media, anything that looks negative or has a fear-based mindset attachment to it, block it from your life, right? That way you're only consuming positive stuff. Um, on top of that, you got to get in the mindset that you got to take action every day. So back to our last point, you know, no matter how much time you have each day, you need to figure out what big rocks are going to move you forward, mm-hmm. right? Is it posting on social media or is it spending time in sponsored ads, right? Mm-hmm. So which one's going to get you more sales? Yeah. Well, sponsored ads will have a better chance, right? So you got to focus on the big rocks. So you got to take action every single day. Um, and then the third with the mindset it goes back to the focus in long term, right? Have that hope and think about the future. Really think big with your brand. You know, if you only want to sell 10 units a day, where well, you're going to get comfortable at 10 units a day. But if you think big and like, all right, this product can sell hundreds of products a day or units a day, every day you're going to be yeah. thinking, how can I get to that 100, 200, and 300, right? You're going to want to grow. You're going to want to see it turn into something exciting. Uh, So you got to have that hope and really think long term and think big with your potential in that. What is the amazing insights? (laughs) Thank you so much about them. Uh, It's it's a really great uh, recommendations and tips that uh, could absolutely influence into your mindset and change your business that you have now uh, on Amazon or it doesn't matter where you have it. Thank you, Brandon, about that. And uh, I guess, uh, what is the right point uh, to reach you? Yeah, if uh, anyone will have any additional questions, maybe social media or email or anything that could work. Yeah, the easiest way would just go to my website at brandonmichaelclark.com. And then there you can connect with me on whatever social media platform. Uh, You could email me from there. You know, there's a bunch of different contact methods and stuff out there as well. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing it once again and uh, have a great day. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Of course. Thank you so much. And that is all for today's Dr. Amazon episode. Don't miss our future arrivals with a new hot topics. Press the like, leave us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. We will come back to you shortly.